Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to show you a little trick that I've learned. It's called using the me.controls. And that is a method in Excel Visual Basic that can allow you to... I'm going to give you a demo here. We're going to start... The starting date is January 1st, 2013. So if one of these checkboxes is checked, whenever I click this button, it will... Uh, plop the date in there and if you click the, uh, it's, it's going to add a month so it'll, this would be February 1st this would be um, March 3rd or 1st so whichever ones are checked when you click the button it will but you know I didn't have to write a whole bunch of lines of code to do this it's very short because you can with uh, with me.controls you can actually run a loop and go through each of your variables so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. And here's our user form. If you're new to Visual Basic, you might want to start with my Basic series. But basically, to get this here, uh, to get here, you just hit Alt F11 to get on the Visual Basics menu. To make a fresh, clean user form, you can click here on this little button and click on User Form. What I've done is added a few uh, text boxes. That's these right here. Clicked them here, here, and here. Added a few check boxes. They're right here and I've added a button which is right here click that so um, now uh, I've named uh, put the caption to be click me right here for these text boxes I've named them and the text boxes and check boxes I've named them uh, very similar and there's a, a reason for this it's an organizational thing this is TB for text box P1 that's period 1 and this is CBP1 so check box period one and then a TBP2 CBP2 text box period three and check box period three now there's a reason for this whenever the button is clicked now don't get overwhelmed by this here the starting date is just the date the converted date of 1 1 2013 so um, what I've done here is I've done a loop for X is 1 all the way to 3 because we have, uh, where's my where's my form? It's not up yet. We have three different periods. We could add more if we wanted. In this loop, we'll just go through as many controls as we want. So what I've done is, um, using the me dot controls, you can actually access uh, any control. So you can see here that we've done me dot controls command button one dot caption equals good work so at the end it changes the button to say good work instead of click me yeah but here is the magic really because we're using numbers at the end so we actually do a loop through each text box and checkbox so the first one says if me dot controls that's how we access the control using the name CBP checkbox period and join that with the number 1 because X is going to be 1 the first time so if the checkbox is true so if the checkbox is checked number 1 is, is checked then send the starting date to the TB period 1 or whatever it is so to the text box send that date uh, otherwise, you know, if the checkbox is not fault is not true or not checked, then just make it blank. And at the very end of each loop, regardless of whether it's checked or if it's going to be blank, the starting date or the variable called st date that we made is going to be equal to. And I use the date add function. That's how you can add a minute or a second or 28 months or whatever. We added the months using m in quotes comma one so we want one month added to this variable st date so at first it's january first then we add a month to that it's february first and then as it loops to the third and final control well, let's just go ahead and we'll put a stop mark in you i will let you see how that works as we debug through so uh, oops let's go ahead and hit f5 that'll bring up this user form so i'm going to click here i'm going to now click the button. So the starting date has been established as 1 1 2013. We're about to do a loop from 1 to 3, so X is going to be 1 at first. So if me.controls CBP1, 
the checked box for the period 1 is true, and it is checked, then the control called text box period 1 dot text equals that date. And now, there you go. You can see it now equals that date. Uh, and the date is going to be uh, date add. Add one month to that, so now it's 2 1. And that one was not checked, so that one's going to be blank. Date is now 3 1. And that one's not going to be checked, it's going to be blank. And then finally, the command button 1 dot caption is good work. Let's take a look. Yeah, and now it says good work instead of click me. So that's pretty interesting. So anyway, that's how it works. I will go ahead and click through a few times. Let's click these two. Okay. Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. And this is a precursor, you guys, to the calendar kind of teaser demo that I did a few days ago. I used uh, the me.controls feature quite a bit um, to make it work for whatever user form or for whatever sheet or whatever you're wanting to use. So it's dynamic in that way. Thanks for watching. God bless.